What's up, guys? Okay. Um, a little while ago, I did a video of the PXL 2000 camera uh, from from the Fish, from Fisher Price. This was my first camera I've ever had, and I, I got this from eBay, and it wasn't working, and I was able to fix it. So uh, I had to I had to change one of the uh, rubber band belts on it, so it's working. It also came with this little TV over here. This P PXL 2000 TV, right? I, I plugged it into an adapter, power adapter. It wouldn't power on. So I thought it might have been uh, one of the, um, what do you call it? I forgot what it's called. Uh, I forgot. I forgot the name. What it's called. But anyway, so I, I, I decided to open it up, right, and uh, try to fix it. And it has these security screws over here. I already removed the security screws. I know you can see the back of these screws. I don't have the security key bit to open it. To open these. So I went ahead and I had to use one of these. One of these bits over here. I actually used one that looks like that. And I, I struggled to get the screws out. It has five screws. Uh, it had two long ones like this. They're about... I would say about an inch, right? And it had these really, really, really tiny ones, really small ones. So I, I removed. I ended up removing it, and uh, and I just said, I said to myself, let me um, get new screws for that because I don't want to put the security ones in case I have to open it again. I went to uh, Home Depot and uh, I bought some some stainless steel screws over here. And these, uh, they're about that size, an inch. So I'm going to try to shove these instead of those. At least I can get these out with a regular screwdriver. And I got these small ones over here. I'm going to try to squeeze these little tiny ones in here. And hopefully these are just, these, this should work. You know, and just get rid of these screws, these security bit ones. So anyway, I opened it up, which was yesterday night. I didn't film it, but I opened it up. You gotta be careful with TVs because they, the, the capacitor. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was the capacitor that went back because these capacitors, they have, you know, when you're messing around with TVs, they have a lot of power. You can get, you know, shocked or electrocuted, you get hurt. So, anyway, but this was off, I guess, for a long time, you know. So, you like, you got to discharge the capacitor or whatever. So, when I opened it up, as you can see the inside like that, boom. First thing I'm, I noticed. It had a fuse, so I was like, oh, maybe the fuse is blown, you know, but I couldn't, uh, I, I, uh, I couldn't see that the fuse was blown, like I couldn't tell, so I tried to use the flashlight, but it's still hard to see, so what I did was, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it has continuity, and I used one of these bad boys right here, and it didn't have continuity, so I said, okay, I must have a blown fuse, so I decided to use, to jump it. Just temporarily jump it. I used this. So I went from one end of the fuse to the other, the other end of the fuse. And then I, I used an adapter and boom, it worked. It powered up. So it was a blown fuse. So now I'm here and I, I unsoldered the fuse. This is the fuse right here. It's a 3 amp 250 volt fuse. And it's, and it's about 2... How many millimeters? It's about... Five millimeters on one side, this um, in the side. That's far as five millimeters and twenty millimeters on the other side. So I said, all right, I gotta get a fuse. Um, well, they they have the uh, pins here. Um, you know where it was connected to the board, soldered on. It was a soldered one. You know, so I unsoldered the bottom, but it's still soldered on. So in order for me to put another one, I have to solder it back in. So. I went to Lowe's, I mean Home Depot, like I said, and I was able to find the fuses. I got two two pack right here fuses. So I'm going to do that right now. Put those few, put that right into that spot. I don't know if you can see it there. It's right next to that big capacitor there, and it should work because it, you know, I jumped it and it's working. So I got this fixed. I wasn't sure I was gonna ever get this thing fixed, you know. So well, I didn't get it fixed yet. I have to put it together in order to, you know, for it to work. So I got my soldering iron there, and I have to try to 
Well, I'm gonna try to desolder this little leg off here. Okay. And get this off. Ow, this is hot! Man, I'm stupid. I gotta use gloves or let me use one of these. Just burnt myself. I knew it was gonna get hot, but I just did something dumb. Damn. Just wasn't thinking about it for the moment. I gotta hold something here. So let me let me try to just de suck out the solder with this desolder up here. And I could try to just just remove this little lag here, this little um wire. By sucking the it seems like this 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 fuse has like a little dip to it to the end of it. I'm still using my fingers. I'm gonna get burnt again. All right, took one of them off. Let me take the. Ah, oh, this is hot. <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh my god, I gotta hold it with this. Very hot. Don't burn yourself, like I just did. All right, let me take out this other one. Gotta pump it out. Get this out. Alright, I got him out. Alright, I'm doing that fuse right there. Well, I'm gonna leave it over there. Because it's too hot for me to mess around with. Should use gloves and burp, scorch my finger. Let me use this to get this out. Alright, so I took it out. It's kind of, I just dropped it. Look at that, I'm clumsy today. So look at the ends. It's kind of got dips to the end. The, the new ones don't have dips like that. So I'm gonna have a nice hard time soldering these on. So I'm gonna put these, these on. Put one of these bad boys right here. I need something to hold it while I solder this. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. All right, I got one one side on. But uh, what I did was I put a little bit of soldering flux, and then I was able to, you know, uh, put the solder on one of the little legs on there. But you know what? I, lo I dropped another one of those little. It's just wire. But I don't. Find it. Now I'm gonna get some wire and put it there. I just dropped it. Anyway, it's kind of clumsy today. So that's what I did. Okay, so I used a little bit of this uh, capacitor's uh, leg because I couldn't find the other wire. So I was able to solder it there, and I'm just gonna clip this right here, and it should be good for me to put in. I just gotta find something to clip it. I'm unprepared today. I'm, I'm gonna use the little wire, this wire cutter here. I'm just gonna cut this. I have, you know what? I have wire for it. I just didn't wanna look for it. So I'm just gonna cut this just about here. Should be good enough. Should be good enough. So I just gotta clean it up a little bit. This is how I did it. I just gotta clean off the flux off of it. So I'm gonna put this. Uh, let me clean it with a little bit of alcohol. Put some of this isopropyl alcohol on me. Okay, so I got it, I got the fuse through on the other side. So I have to solder these two points right over here. I'll show you where the two points are. There's one there and there's one right over there. Is that it? I think so. Yeah. That one, yeah, this one here and that one over there. 
the little two areas off the solder. So I'm going to do that. good and then one more point it's over here that looks good too okay that's good enough that looks good Yep, those two points that I had to solder. And now, um, let me unplug this soldering iron before I get burnt by accident. Unplug this. All right, so that's that's it right there. That's pretty much it. Looks good. Now what I gotta do is I'm just gonna plug it in and test it out. Got it all flipped upside down here. Okay. So let's put it together like this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. Let me put the back in. This back cover. I have to put this back cover. Let me just roll it. Just somewhere. I gotta put this back cover in. That. that belongs there. Let's close it up. And there you go. Now I'm gonna plug it. Plug it in with this adapter. See if it turns on. Working. We're not gonna get any picture. Yeah, I don't think so. It needs like a cable box or whatever. But anyway, this is just for the little camera. But it's working. I think I'm gonna get any camera. Okay. Got on the any channels. I don't think uh they changed all this stuff with the camera. Anyway, it's working. This is just, this is a black and white TV, but the camera's black and white, so I'm just gonna hook it up to the camera. I got this bad boy working, I'm so happy. The volume is loud. Actually, go through. Yeah, that's it. This bad boy's working. Now, I'm going to try to stick these screws in there. Put these new screws instead of these other ones. Instead of the other ones. So, two of them go right on top. Let me unplug it. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna shove this bad boy right there. I'm gonna force, force it right in there. But it look like they look like they're about the size. These screws look like they're about the right size. So yeah, it's, it looks like it's going. They're going in. This is way better than the other security screws. I'll tell you that. Okay, that went in. Let me 
sure it's nice and snug. I don't want to put it too tight. Okay. That was perfect. These screws are way better. Now I got these smaller ones because they have three smaller ones on the bottom. Three smaller screws on the bottom. right in here just like that these are good they work these are working that works. yeah because the other ones are there's security screws and I don't have the screw. I had a hard time getting this, those screws out. Just replace those with, with normal screws. Okay. So that's it. Put uh, new screws, brand new fuse. And let me move this back. All right, guys. So that's it for the video. And I fixed my little PXL 2000 TV from Fisher Price. And I catch you guys later on the next video. Peace out, latest. Don't forget to subscribe.